up, yo? I'll bring you guys another video. So, if you guys didn't know, Shakur Stevenson fought against Jeremiah Nakatila recently, and uh, the fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 12 rounds, and uh, Stevenson won the fight by unanimous decision, winning every single scorecard 120 to 107 across all three judges. Pretty much a shout out win. All in favor of Stevenson, where he, he scored a knockdown. Actually, he could have ruled a couple more as knockdowns, uh, but referee ruled them as slips. But but yeah, it was all Stevenson in this fight. And uh, man, I didn't watch the whole entire fight. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I just watched a little bit of it and clips of it here and there, and it looked like it was a pretty one-sided, very not too action-packed fight. It looked like. Nakatila just couldn't get things rolling s offensively. Uh, Stevenson was very defensive minded in this fight. He was moving around, using his jab, being accurate with his punches. I think he outlanded Nakatila by a lot, if I remember the punch stats correctly. I don't have it in front of me right now, but I, I remember looking and I was like, damn, man, Nakatila couldn't land nothing. And, uh, and yeah, and you know, Shakur just fought. The smart fight. He he fought a very smart fight, and he fought the way he needed to do in order to win this fight. And with this win, he improves to sixteen and zero because for some reason Boxrack hasn't updated yet. I don't know why, but uh, I guess they, you know, probably went to sleep already. Who knows? But yeah, with this win, uh, Chokor improves to sixteen and zero. Eight wins come by way of knockout TKO, giving Nakatila his second loss in his pro career. Again, Boxer has to upgrade it, so update it. So, uh, Nakatila has now two losses in his career. But yeah, you know, it would have been cool to see an upset, yeah. But in the end, going to this fight, realistically speaking, this, there was just nothing special from Nakatila that I saw uh, that he could have br bring into this fight that, you know, could have led him a victory. Yes, he had power. Yes, he had punching power, but... He still had to land it, and he couldn't land it in that fight. He couldn't land it. A lot of people didn't like my comments about how uh, I thought this fight was going to be very one-sided from the get-go when this fight was first announced. And you know, you know why. Because it was a very one-sided fight. Shakur Steven showed that there are levels in the sport of boxing, and he showed that he was just way beyond this, the level of Nakatila. Yes, it wasn't the most exciting fight, but at the end of the day, it's the sport of boxing. To hit without getting hit, it's the art of boxing. And Stevenson did a pretty good job. And he actually apologized for this. If you follow him on social media. If you follow him on social media. If you uh, go to Shakur Stevenson's. Uh, where is that? Hold up. Let me try to figure out for you guys. If you go to his Twitter page. Alright, I found it. If you go to his Twitter page. You can see him tweeting out saying... I apologize to all my fans. I didn't feel good tonight, but I did what I had to do to win. Thank you all for all the support. I promise better fights, better for further fights to come. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the most exciting fight, let's be honest, but it still, Shakur did what he did to do to win. And that's the main goal, to win fights. And he won, the, he won this fight. He won it. No doubt about it, he won it. And, um, you know, so I, I, don't, I don't think he needs to apologize, but a lot of people were highly critical saying that, you know, they, they nearly fell asleep <laughs> watching this fight. It was the most boring fight and all this and that, but, um, you know, Shakur decided to exchange here and there. Definitely, Jeremiah would have had more chances to win, but, couldn't catch him, man. He couldn't catch him. It's why criticize Shakur for his defensive uh, IQ. You know, I, in my opinion, should criticize Nakatila for failing to match that defensive IQ. Nakatila didn't have that boxing IQ to to match uh, Shakur Stevenson. Anyway, with this win, Shakur, I believe it's for the interim title. Interim title, which doesn't make sense because Jamal Herring is clearly right there. It's still fighting. He recently fought against Carl Frampton. So I don't understand the interim title, but you know, it's a WBO for you. Would be cool to see Shakur versus Jamal. 
I think that's most likely the fight we'll see next. But at the same time, there's also a possibility of Jamel Herring versus Oscar Valdez. So we'll see what happens there. So, as for Jeremiah, back to the drawing board for him. See what happens for him in the near future. And Shakur, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I'm sure he'll be fine. So, anyway, wedding coming up pretty soon. Probably the next video I make. Like the, the videos that are coming out lately, the prediction videos, those are videos I made weeks ago that are scheduled and, you know, scheduled to be published day after day this month. But probably the next video that I make, which is probably in a few days, I won't be single anymore. I will no longer be a bachelor. I will be a married man. If you guys know I'm getting married pretty soon. It's been one hell of a week, this planning, this and that. It's 3 in the morning. I need to go to bed. I need to wake up early. There's a lot of stuff to do, man. But, uh, you know, like I said before in previous videos, I just thought I'd make a few videos just to share my thoughts on some fights that took place today. Good fights, man. I, mean, I, I think there's a UFC event too. I think there was some YouTube TikTok thing, thing going, to, going on also. I missed out on all those, man. But... Yeah, miss y'all, but gotta focus on getting married. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.